Uh, hi you guys, welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. Yeah, I still don't feel good, <clears throat> but I thought I would just come outside and walk around a little bit and give my thoughts in this video. The reason why Trump won in such a historical landslide is because the other side, the left, was not giving direct attention to the things that matter the most to normal, sane, educated, hardworking, taxpaying Americans. And those Americans that I'm talking about are the ones that are of older generations. Because if you look at the demographics of what got Trump elected, it was overwhelmingly white men, my age group and up, that made Trump the next president of the United States. Why? Because my generation on up does not agree with the younger generations that came into this world and thought that they were gonna have all the pull and be able to change the world that we all grew up in. The left made their agenda about LGBTQ rights, about the woke movement, about people that use pronouns, about putting boys and girls sports, letting people of the opposite sex go into the opposite bathrooms, sexual mutilation, the list goes on and on, a bunch of sick, deranged, evil stuff that nobody with a sane mind from my generation cares about, wants to hear about, or would ever support. That's why Trump became president, because we older people are trying to keep your demonic movement from ever happening. And come next time, we're gonna do the same damn thing. We're gonna keep you shut out because it's gonna be overwhelmingly red, more so than it was this time. Because if that doesn't speak volumes of what people care about, nothing will. Frankly, in my opinion, I hope the Democrats never, ever, so long as I live, gain power in this country ever again. Every single election, people should vote against the Democratic Party. I don't care who it is. If they're a Democrat, vote against them, period. Because what we Americans care about are sane things, normal things, things that affect us every single day, like gas prices, grocery prices, uh, the cost of housing, the cost of living, the cost of going to school, uh, credit card debt, uh, national debt, wars, stuff like that, stuff that really makes a difference, stuff that's very impactful. We don't care about the gay community. We don't care if you want to use pronouns and stuff like that because we're not gonna respect that. That's something that you have a problem with. Don't make it my problem. We don't want to deal with people that wanna cram that shit down our throats. We don't wanna look at it. We don't wanna be around it. We don't wanna hear about it and we don't wanna deal with it. You're not gonna come into this world and change an entire country just because you have a certain feeling about something, because you want things to be a certain way and you want everybody to bend to your ways. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen today. It's not gonna happen tomorrow. It's not gonna happen next year. It's not gonna happen ever. Because so long as we have good, strong, hardworking people that are sane in this country and know what life is truly about and believe in God and support God and pray to God, we're never gonna allow anything like that ever to have power in this country and be able to control the rest of us like you thought you would. And that is why Trump won. And from now on, we are gonna see to it that you Democrats never have power ever again like you once had at 16 out of the last 20 years. You had all the power in the last two decades. Trump only had four years of those last 20 years and look at what you did. You screwed this country into the ground. You turned everything upside down. You suppressed freedom of speech. You've ruined schools. You've ruined sports. You've ruined every single thing that you put your, your demon fingerprints on. And now Trump's gonna come in and he's gonna clean house and he's gonna get rid of these people that flooded this country thanks to your demonic leader that you all pledge allegiance to. 
now it's going to be time to get this country back to, on the right track and getting it back to a country for God, a country that prays to God, a country that believes in God. Because the United States, you guys, is based on God. It's based on freedom. It's based on faith. It's based on prayer. And that's the way it needs to be again. And that's the way we're going to bring it back to. And that's the way I hope it stays. Because so long as I live, I will never, ever in my lifetime ever vote for a democrat and i hope you never do either let's keep them out let's keep them out forever and for good and may they never ever have the ability to ever make any agenda that those sick assholes uh, believe in ever come to light again in the united states of america thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you again in the next one Bye bye